Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. Um, obviously, FA Cup's done for now. Um, back to the Premier League prediction. Couple of things I want to say about the FA Cup. I want to say well done to Wigan Athletic for beating Man City. Um, I know there's a lot of aggro after the game. I don't agree with none of it. Um, but I think what uh, Wigan proved is that the uh, when they beat them, they are beatable, just got to work out a way. Um, obviously, most of you have probably seen it with the Carl Walker muck up. Um, I think what he, he didn't uh, communicate with his defender, and that's how all that happened. But well done, Wigan. Um, obviously, my local team won. Um, beat Coventry 3-1 uh, I want to say thanks to the Coventry City fans for travelling down um, you know you made a lot of noise uh, far as I say best away fans we've had this season um, you could have possibly beat us as well um, you hit the bar you had a few chances that uh, didn't obviously pay off but good luck for the rest of the season um, and then the other one is Tottenham Rochdale, which is, which was a draw, um, to all, uh, fair play to Rochdale for coming back into it in the last minute, um, you know, you got, you had Harry Kane on the pitch at that point, you had Deli Ali on the pitch, um, so Rochdale, look forward to your trip at Wembley, and, uh, yeah, let's go. Right, so the first game I'm going to talk to you about is Leicester Stoke. Um, Stoke still go for a bit of a sticky patch. Um, obviously their last uh, league game, I drew one all with... Uh, my local team um, and a good last minute save by Matty Ryan at the penalty and then Lewis Dunk clearance um, as I said they're playing Leicester at the uh, King Power I just got to tip Leicester off for a home win on that one the next one I'm going to talk to you about is Bournemouth versus Newcastle. Now Bournemouth have picked up a bit um, over the sorry over the past few weeks. Newcastle are still down in that relegation battle with um, obviously with my local team being involved and uh, about eight other teams or whatever it is. Um, so for that one I'm going to tip it off for Bournemouth home win now my, my game which I will be attending there will be no vlog for my channel for this week I start it off next week when we play Arsenal um, just have a couple of weeks break uh, I did the same at Coventry City um, it did make a change but they will be back up for the Arsenal game and mostly, hopefully, all the way through to the end, so right, anyway, Brighton Swansea um, yet again, Swansea during the cup uh, against Sheffield Wednesday um, unexpected um, but for this one, I'm going to tip it off as a Brighton home win I know a lot of you probably saying, well, it's my local team and that. I don't, I just think uh, Swansea might be going for a bit of a sticky uh, pitch. But if you are travelling this weekend or over the, over the uh, Sunday, Monday, hope you have a safe travel, enjoy your day out. Um, so, but yeah, for that one, Brighton, home win. Next one I'm going to talk to you about is Burnley Southampton. Now, oh, this is a toughie. Do I go where everyone else is probably thinking? 
Burnley home win or Southampton or a draw. Um, yeah, I'm going to tip it off as a Burnley home win. I can't see Southampton beating Burnley at Turf Moor. Um, obviously, yeah, there's in that battle as well down the bottom. So, the next game I want to talk to you about is Liverpool West Ham. Um, obviously, I think West Ham won their last league game. Um, But I can't see them beating Liverpool. So for that one, I'm going for Liverpool home win. Now the next one, I believe this team's already relegated. Even though there's no R next to your name yet. Um, but it's West Brom versus Huddersfield. But I do believe West Brom are already down. They're seven points from safety, plus all the other games they got to play. I can't see you getting out. Sorry, West Brom fans. Obviously, it's just my opinion. Um, against Huddersfield. Um, now I went to the Hawthorns, and no disrespect to um, Brighton on the day we looked off. Obviously, West Brom players are in a lot of trouble at the minute, as it is. Obviously, Jay Rodriguez incident against uh, Bong, and then obviously what happened in, I believe, Spain, between what happened with Johnny Evans and everything like that. So I believe Huddersfield have got this one. Yeah, again, sorry, West Brom fan. Um, the next one I'm going to talk to you about is Watford Everton. Um. Now, Watford, ain't, I don't think they're doing that badly, to be all honest. Um, but nor nor Everton. Uh, obviously, Simon Field World Cup window just gone. So, for that one... Oh, sorry. Um, for that one, I am going for... I'll go Everton away win. Now on to Sunday's games. Um, Crystal Palace Tottenham at Selhurst Park. Uh, now I know um, Crystal Palace ain't gone too badly at home this season, um, but don't can't see you beating Tottenham. Um, Unfortunately, well, from a normal perspective, but obviously from a Brighton perspective, you get my drift. Um, but I can't see being top them at home from a neutral point of view, which is how I do this. So for that one, I'm going to top them away win. The next one, and it's why well, it's on my thumb now, because it's the game of the week um, in the league. Is Man United versus Chelsea at Old Trafford. Now Chelsea are covered two parts. Man United are looking that way, but they're not quite there yet. So for that one, I'm going Man United home win. Um, from I'm going to do the EFL Cup final between Arsenal and Man City at Wembley. Um, obviously this Sunday um, um, you got Arsenal first man City as I've just said now do I go do I go for a shock on this one and go Arsenal home win uh, Arsenal win or do I go where possibly everyone else opinions go in and go Man City win. Now after that disappointment um, against Wigan, I'm going to go for a shock. I'm going to go Arsenal home win. Um, so that's my predictions for this week. And 
Guys, you know what to do for these to my channel. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and ciao for now.